So look real quick, man. Um, something I gotta like work on myself, including y'all. But first and foremost, hope y'all been taking care of yourself. Hope y'all doing good, man. Hope everything all right in y'all life. If not, man, one day at a time, it will get better. Um, death, right, man? We all go leave this, this. We all go leave one day. Like it's inevitable, and like a lot of us, it's, it's tough for us to face that reality. You know, like. When it comes to getting life insurance, when it comes to planning your own funeral, like while you alive, like it, it's just cringy as hell, right? But we can't avoid this shit, so why are we running from what we cannot avoid? So I'm in the process of, you know, getting all my affairs in order and like just, just facing the fucking music, man, instead of like just trying to avoid something I know I can't avoid. You know, the same thing with problems, man. And uh, what sparked this is like people dying on a day to day, right? But especially these celebrities, these rappers, you know, icons, whoever, it get so pushed through the media and so thrown in our face. Like, yeah, it's real. We all go go. You know, yeah, we know that. You know, but it's like they just magnify, it and it it instills a fear in us that it shouldn't. We shouldn't be afraid of death. We should embrace it. You know, we should use it as motivation to continue to live and be great and reach our full potential in life. But a lot of us stand still. You know, we, 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 a lot of us are alive, but we're not living. A lot of us are sitting here in a situation we know we should be in. We know we deserve better, but we here stuck because we fearful. Not just of death, we fearful of success. We fearful of change, you know? We stuck in survival mode and it's time to break that cycle. You and me, all of us, it's time to break that cycle. No more survival mode, you know, no more just getting by, no more living paycheck to paycheck, no more settling when you know you deserve better. Like it's your birthright to ball out, my nigga. It's your birthright to have any and everything you want in life. You know, it's your birthright to have a happy family. It's your birthright to be healthy. It's your birthright to travel the world. Like all the things you want to do, you, you was born, you know, owning the rights to this shit, to happiness, to peace. You know, it's your birthright. All this shit, all the money you want, you know, all, all the peace you want, all the love you want, you know, all the women for all the women, all the men you want, all the men, all the women you want, whatever it is, it's your birthright to have it. Start to believe that, you know, and, um, and I'm only speaking like when I speak like this, I'm not just talking to y'all, I'm talking to myself. You know, I gotta remind myself, you know, like this is my therapy. And it's important that we don't forget where we came from. Like last year, hopefully you're in a better position than you were a year from now, you know? Even if it's not physically, even if you don't have more money, you might have less money, but mentally have you grown? Spiritually have you grown? Have you had new experiences, you know? Have you handled situations better than you normally have handled them? Those are the things that matter. You know your growth your process like man fuck the destination it's the journey it's the process that matters more than anything not where you going but what you're doing to get to where you're going the process the journey the sacrifices you make and the lessons you learn and the mistakes you make you make embrace your mistakes you know um it's okay you're not perfect no one walking this motherfucking earth is perfect stop beating yourself up like you you, you i'm gonna do a 30-day workout right i'm gonna go 30 days no meat i'm gonna go 30 days no drinking if you slip up one day two days a week out of so fucking what Be like pat yourself on the back for the three weeks you went hard you did drink didn't smoke didn't do all these things you fuck okay i'm gonna start over man this time i'm gonna do 45 days you don't make it so what get your ass up and try to fuck again like it's okay you know and i want us us all of us not just you not just me us collectively to keep pushing one day at a time know your worth know your value know you're not perfect and, and work on not judging each others either you know once you learn to not judge the next person and understand that they're imperfect just like you're imperfect things will get better you know you will stop comparing yourself to other people because we idolize a lot of these celebrities and you know these people of higher status right and when they fuck up it's like we have so much to say well we forget they human beings separate the artists from the art you know separate these people from who they are to with what they do because you might love r kelly's music 
But him as a person, you probably think he's a monster. But because you think he's a monster, you won't listen to his music. But his music does something good for you. He is not his art. You know what I mean? He, he It's two separate things. You know, the same with basketball players, football players, rappers. You know, even probably your parents, your friends. You know, learn to separate. And I know some of this is hard to look past. I get it. And if that's your stand, stand on that shit. If you can't look past what R. Kelly has been, you know, charged with or Kodak Black or whoever, you know, you you value, stand on that thing. Cut them off. You know, cancel them. That's what you want to do. You it's, That's your right, too. And can't nobody tell you you're wrong. Understand that. You know, and I just want y'all to believe this and, and trust in yourself and trust that things will get better, but you have to believe they will get better. If you don't have no belief, no faith, you know, no true belief system, you're not going to put in that work. You can't just sit here and hope for things to get better. You got to put in that work. You understand what I'm saying? You got to grind for that shit. You got to work for that shit. That shit take hard work, dedication, consistency. And we're not always good with being consistent. But keep those, keep a circle around you. Join communities. Join this Discord. I'm working on a Facebook group, a Discord chat. Like, come over and join my shit. Let's be hold each other accountable to get better. That's the only way that most of us go get through. If we hold, we have people we can hold accountable that can hold us accountable. That's how we gonna make it through this shit. You know, like it's not impossible. It's just hard, and nothing that's good for you is gonna be fucking easy. You know, like, uh, like, man. Well, listen to motivational speakers. You know, like, listen to music that make you feel good and make you want to get up and do something. Not just music that turn you up, make you want to nod your head. Listen to music that make you think outside, outside the box, that inspire you. You know, that that make you cry. Like, listen to music that moves you emotionally, that forces you to grow. Start listening to some K-pop, some rock music. Whatever genre you listen to, stop listening to it for a week and, and try something new you never listen to. Try a whole new genre you never listen to. You know, whatever it may be, EDM, anything. Country music is it's amazing. I don't listen to it, but I've heard it. I know it's good, you know? Like, just do something different. Get out your comfort zone. You can't grow in a box. You're stuck in a box. You can't grow in a box. Get out that comfort zone. That's the only way you go grow and prosper and push yourself to your full potential as a human being. There's no limits to what you can do as a human being. An animal, a cat, dogs, lizards, all they stuck where they are. Us as humans, we can do whatever we want to do. It is no limit on what we can do. Stop limiting yourself. The world is already trying to limit you and put you in a box. Stop doing it to yourself. You know? I just want to talk to y'all real quick. I know it's been a minute since y'all seen my face, man. Patreon, I'm about to change the price. It's going to be $5 for everybody. You know, uh, it will go back to the normal price, but I'm going to drop the price. I'm going to get back to it, man. Y'all just give me time, man. I'm working on myself, man. I hope y'all working on yourself. Take care of yourself. Like, comment, subscribe. If you can hit that notification bell, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.